welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you don't know who I am, that's who I am. I do lots of crafting tutorials on YouTube. I go live on Facebook. My husband joins me sometimes. Today I am starting the first series, the first episode of the new cup turning series that I think is never going to end on my channel. I've absolutely been obsessed with cup turning since I learned about it. And now that I actually have some cup turners, I have delved, dived into the world. I don't know if that's the correct word, but I have been practicing and researching and watching tutorials and experimenting, spending all my money trying to get processes down and things like that so you guys can start from the ground up and know exactly what you need to do what's gonna save you money, what's gonna save you time, and then for my crazy patrons, if you don't know what a patron is, I basically give a lot of cool things to a group of people who give me a little bit of money a month. So if you wanna become a patron, check out my patron page. Links are in the description. But for my crazies, I'm gonna be going into an in-depth study of how you would sell cups taking your process down, making your profit the most profitable, and branding and everything like that across the board. So we are on step one of our cup turners. All five of these cup turners made the top list for my first layer round. And I only show you my top, top tutorials. Actually, it goes like this. These three are all done with my final and best approved first layer. These two are two different um, first layers, which there's nothing wrong with these two methods, but I am going to talk about why I think these are better. This cup turner right here, I'm gonna put them in order by my favorites, okay? So I started with the Mod Podge method and Mod Podge everything onto this cup and dumped glitter on and then sprayed Mod Podge on the outside when it was dry in order to seal it so that it's ready for the second coat. You will see all these bad boys process through the final coat until we get to a final cup. Then this is my second favorite and my second least favorite because I only have three. So this is my second favorite method which is putting a thin layer of epoxy and dumping glitter onto it. The reason why this became my second favorite is it's very rigid on the outside. So, and glitter actually comes off a little bit, not a ton, not with the mod, with the mod podge method, it comes off a ton, so you definitely need to seal it. With the epoxy dumping method, the glitter still comes off, it's very grainy, and it um, takes a lot more glitter, and it makes a huge mess that you have to clean up, and clean up time needs to be included in your, your process time. Okay, number one favoritist, favoritist, process is the glitter in epoxy method. So this method stops the glitter mess in its tracks. We get it all into the epoxy. We don't let it get anywhere else and we get it on our cup or our silicone and that is it. Then it also has amazing coverage and gets you to this glossy stage right away. So number one, that's the number one reason. Okay, let's talk about the things you're gonna need for your step one. You're going to need a cup turner. I have two right here. I have my handmade one by Cup Turners and More. You can find handmade turners on Etsy. You can look them up too, Cup Turners and More. The thing I love about this one is it's quiet. It's large and it has a drying rack on the top so that I can work on one cup and then in about five hours, I can switch it to the drying rack and I can work on another cup. They also make double and triple and quadruple and even bigger ones. So if you're looking to sell, a handmade one is actually really nice to have. The one downfall is it's pretty bulky and it's pretty big. And then of course we have the new Spin It, this bad boy. It is teeny tiny and it's so cute. It's $50. We sell it on shopantitay.com, but it is not available till October 2019. We are doing a pre-order and with your pre-order, you will get a fun $25 silicone kit with your pre-order. But it's by We Are Memory Keepers. The one downfall I found of it is it's pretty loud. So it has a 
speed variant on it. So it starts very slow and you can turn it up. It also has an adjustment feature so that it fits most cups. That's the one downfall that I, the sound I can deal with because I lock it in my office and I walk away from it and I can't hear it when I'm sleeping because I do most of my cups at night and then I wake up in the morning and they're done and ready for the next step. But the one downfall is this only goes this small. So if I wanna do anything smaller, I can't. But these have the football attachment on them and then um, they also have the pool noodle attachment on them. So the football allows you to get into those really big tumblers like this one. And then the, um, like this is even smaller than this small cup right here. So this is actually too small for this, but this football, you squish it and you put it inside there, it works great. But if you have anything smaller, you can actually use this pool noodle or you can actually take the pool noodle off and use the PVC pipe and wrap maybe a washcloth or something around this. It's a little bit more versatile in the sizes for your cups. So it really just depends on what you want. Look in the description. I may have coupon codes for both and deals may have changed. And if you're watching past October, go buy this on my website because you'll get some really cool stuff with it just from buying it from shoppingtopay.com. Next, you're obviously going to need epoxy, which I just use the Envirotex Lite from Michaels, and I also added some to Amazon. Now, depending on your climate, it's going to change what you need. I just started with this stuff and it worked great, but a lot of people love Alumalite, and if you're in a humid climate, then Alumalite works great. I'm in a pretty dry climate and this stuff works pretty good for me. The next most important thing I'm going to say is a silicone mat. Epoxy does not stick to your skin or silicone. It will stick to your hair. It will stick to any surface it gets on besides silicone. So anything we can find in silicone is the best. This silicone mat is in my Amazon store. We are working on getting a anti-tape branded one that will come with your spinach. And then I also recommend having baby wipes on hand at all times. Um, wipe epoxy off of anything you don't want it to get on immediately and keep these handy. I do have my desk that has the drawer so it stays off of my space, but I have them right there. Then you're going to need glitter. Obviously, if you're doing the glitter cups, you're gonna need glitter. We have the top of the line Intite Fine Glitter on my website. And again, if you're watching this, we may have more. We have 10 fine colors and we're launching Blue Chunky, we're launching Medium, we're launching other brands. So we will have all the glitter ready for you on shopantitay.com. If you did not know, my patrons get 20% off everything on shopantitay.com that I'm allowed to give you discounts on. Certain things like the spinet, because it's not my brand, I am not allowed to do things with with coupons, but that's why I throw in the free things because you get the free silicone mat, you'll get some other cool things. So I started by using this kit, which is the plastic little cups and the wood stir sticks. However, I found that I really love silicone cups and we're in the process of getting a silicone stir stick on the market to come with your spinet pretty soon. So if you pre-order, you will get a four piece set that I'll mention in a second. Okay, and then gloves are great to have, but they will need to be thrown away afterwards. But we also have these silicone finger covers, which I love because they clean up super easy and you don't have the bulk of wearing a glove. Sometimes I feel like when you have a glove on, it makes it a little bit harder to feel or notice what you've done. If you've nicked something or the back of your hand touched something, you might not realize if you have a glove on. I love these bad boys. This is going to be a part of the four part kit. So in the four piece silicone starter kit set will be a silicone, you'll get two finger silicone covers, a 18 by 22 inch silicone mat, a silicone stir stick, and then we will have silicone clear measuring cups, which means that you can reuse your cup. So there you have it, that's what you need. Let's get into the tutorial and here is how you do your first step. 
First and most important part is spray painting your cup or getting a pre-colored cup. I love Simply Modern Cups, they're awesome. And then before we work with epoxy, you want to make sure that your hair is out of your face and you're not going to be messing with it, believe me. All right, so we're gonna start with our cup and mixing our epoxy. So I'm using the small clear cups that I showed you and a lot of people use the method to do one part in one cup and the other part in another cup and then you mix them together. But I have found that using one cup works fine. I just have to make sure it's a measuring cup. So I did 10 milliliters of one part of the solution and 10 millimeters of the other part of solution. I'll go into different epoxies later if you guys want to know specific epoxies to use. And then you're going to mix this for about four to five minutes very slowly. You don't want any bubbles in there. And actually, since I was using this small little cup, I portioned half of it out so that I could have room for glitter after I was done stirring it all together. It's inevitable that you're gonna get bubbles though, so don't be worried if you do get some in there. So now I'm going to put one part glitter. So the same amount of epoxy that I used for each part, I'm gonna use the same amount of glitter. For this video, I actually did not use enough. Just a little bit more would have been perfect. You don't wanna see any clear separating from the glitter. You want it to be fully concentrated. Okay, so then I'm gonna put my cup on my spinet. This is one of the Simply Modern cups. I really love these cups because they come with two different lids and I think two straws as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put on my finger cover, my silicone finger cover. You can wear gloves for this part if you need. And you don't need to have your cup turning for the first layer, but you basically just want a pretty thin layer. So you just pour a tiny bit on and then smooth it out. You're gonna feel where there's no epoxy because your silicone finger cover or your glove will kind of stick to the cup on spots that the epoxy's not. So we wanna do a really thin layer because this is self-leveling epoxy and it will fall anywhere um, that gravity is pulling it. So we don't wanna keep it sitting for too long. And so once I get a bunch of the cup covered, I will eventually turn my spinet or my turner on and then I'll just slowly work all the glitter everywhere. You can see that I did need a little bit more glitter in this because there are some parts where the epoxy just covered without glitter in it, but I've done so many now that I know exactly how much glitter I'm supposed to use. And again, you can already see how much cleaner this method is than the dumping glitter. There's no glitter getting on the ground. Um, and then again, it's also going to um, dry super, shiny already not not grainy at all so if you get this first step down you can actually go in with a decal right afterwards so just play around with this don't be afraid to do it the more you do it the more you realize like your own flow and things that work for you um, but you just want to work the glitter all the way to the bottom I like to work my way like kind of in the center and then when I get the glitter pretty much fully covered then I'll go in on that top and that bottom and really get glitter all the way to the edge like I'm doing right here. Um, and then it's very important to keep baby wipes next to you at all times because we're going to clean up the inside and the bottom of the cup with our baby wipe at the end. So even though I didn't have as much glitter as I like in this, um, the cup actually turned out really awesome. Now I'm just gonna take my baby wipe and leave it in one spot and let the cup do the work to clean up and make a perfect line at the bottom. Um, these cups are tapered so I did notice that a little bit of the epoxy pooled at the bottom and made just a not a lump but like you could tell that the epoxy there's more epoxy at the bottom than at the top so if you want to put something under your spinet to level out your cup if it's a really tapered cup that might help and that's it that's our first layer don't forget to watch the rest of the series and I again I'll be doing so many more cups that you guys will be so excited about um, I'm already super excited about them. We have iron-on cups and fabric cups and so many things. So watch step two to figure out how to finalize your cup and seal it and all the things. And thanks for watching, guys. Love you.